we're going to continue with calculus section 2.3 on continuity. We're on page 3. We're asked here to plot a graph of f of x. We have x cubed plus 7 divided by the quantity x squared minus 4. Our task is to determine the numbers that the function is continuous and identify the types of discontinuities. So when we start this, uh, I can look at the denominator and see uh, there's going to be some issues in the denominator. Um, if I factor the denominator, I'll just do it over here. The denominator factors to x minus 2 and x plus 2. And uh, there's no factoring in the numerator that's going to help us out here. So we basically have a vertical asymptote we know at plus or minus 2. So I'm going to go ahead and start sketching that out. So there's at positive 2, at negative 2, some vertical asymptotes. Let's see what else that we can learn from this graph. Um, if I compare the powers of the, of the uh, highest order term, I have x cubed and x squared. So the numerator is larger, which means you know, the limit uh, as we go to infinity is going to be going to positive or negative infinity. But the other thing that, that tells us, since the power is exactly one more in the numerator than it is in the denominator, I have an oblique asymptote. I'm going to use long division to find that, uh, what that is, what the oblique asymptote is. You can use synthetic division. Uh, I prefer long division. So if I set this up, let's see, this is x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 7. I want to make sure I've accounted for every, every part of the polynomial. In the denominator, I have x squared plus 0x minus 4. So that's what I'm going to do with my long division. Um, x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 7 divided by x squared plus 0x minus 4. So x squared to get to x cubed, I need to multiply by x. Um, multiply that through here, I get x cubed um, plus 0x squared minus 4x. I'm going to subtract this entire piece here. So that leaves nothing there. That leaves um, nothing there. I'm basically left with negative 4x plus 7. And x squared does not go into negative 4x, so this is my remainder. So my function, after this long division, is x plus um, negative 4x plus 7 over x squared minus 4. The remainder I don't really care about. This is what I care about right here. This linear piece is the equation of my oblique asymptote. So the oblique asymptote is y equals x. Well, that's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and um, sketch out that oblique asymptote there. OK, we need a couple other points here to figure out what portions of this are populated with the graph. Um, one thing we can do is find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is at f of 0. And if we plug in a 0, to the function, we get the numerator 0 plus 7, the denominator 0 minus 4. So we have negative 7 fourths. I'm going to just uh, eyeball where that goes right here. Um, we know we have um, vertical asymptotes at negative 2 and 2. Um, we can look at the limits to the left of 2, the limits to the right of 2, um, to see where it's approaching, positive or negative. I either have to be populated in here or in here with my graph. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the center one. If I look at 2 from the left, if I plug in 2 from the left, I get um, a negative value in the numerator and a negative value in the denominator, so I'm headed toward positive infinity here. So I'm just going to go this way. I'm going to continue the graph this way. If I look at positive 2 from the left, put in a number like 1.9, this is positive in the numerator. It's negative in the denominator, so I know I'm headed toward negative infinity. 
And for the remainder of the graph, um, you could do limits from the left, uh, of positive 2 limits, excuse me, limit from the right of positive 2, limit from the left of negative 2. Or you just plug in a value just to make sure uh, we know where this is going. If I plug in a value of 3, I'm going to get a very large number here over 5. Let's see, 27, 35 over 5. So I'm going to be up in this zone. This graph shows up here. And you could do a similar thing here and show that that graph shows up right there. So this is my, this is my graph. Um, the discontinuities are at negative 2 and positive 2. And it's actually an infinite discontinuity. It's also non-removable. Um, it's also essential. So we would basically want to say essential discontinuity, and we would also want to define it as an infinite discontinuity. And where is it? It's at at x equals plus or minus 2. And the problem also asks us for the determine the numbers at which the function is continuous. So I'll say it's continuous on, starting from the left, negative infinity all the way up to, but not including negative 2. Also from negative 2 to 2, not including either of those. And then the third position would be beyond 2, up to infinity. So this is where it's continuous.